Hey guys, as I wait for my bag to fill up, thought I'd show you guys the latest little project I've been working on in between gaming sessions. Whenever I'm waiting for lobbies, since PUBG takes forever to find a game. Anyhow, I've been playing around with this off-grid solar device. Our cabin in the woods is 12 volts and I'm upgrading it to a 24 volt system this year. So this is my little kind of project area. I've got my arcade build that I'm working on. I eventually want to move that into an arcade cabinet. And I've got a miter saw here that I use for various projects. So it's a perfect little corner for this 3 kilowatt inverter. Like I said, I'm upgrading from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. And before I haul this unit off into the bush and rely on it, I thought I'd set it up with a couple, a couple RV batteries or boat batteries. Those are each 12 volts in series for 24 volts. And I've been testing it out. And I must say, I like this grow watt unit. It's a three kilowatt inverter combined with a 60 amp solar charger. And you can also charge off shore power too. There's the specs if you want to see it. Very well priced compared to what else is available in the market. So why don't I, uh, looks like my bag's almost filled there. Why don't I uh, go take a quick vape break and then I'll plug in my uh, arcade system to show you what it looks like with load on it and I'll even fire up the old miter saw on it just to make sure it's got enough starting juice for that. But very basic setup here. I've just got, uh, like I said, these two batteries positive over here for my testing. I'm just using this four gauge wire, but when I actually set it up, I'll use this size, the two gauge wire. Got it into a 250 amp fuse to a simple boat switch. And then I just ripped apart this old power bar that I had laying around. Um, I snipped it in half and one lead goes up to the input. AC, uh, AC input and one goes to the AC output. So I can plug stuff into power here for testing and then I can plug this into, into my wall to test the charger, the built-in charger. So like I said, it's a really cool little unit. And uh, give me one second here to take a bit of a break. Okay, that's better. Now where was I? Oh yes, the grow button. <laughs> So, as you can see, I just did some temporary plywood bracing so that I didn't have to drill screws into any of the woodwork that's existing down here. This is just a secondary kitchen we've got in the basement that I used to brew myself coffee for gaming sessions and microwave whatever I want to microwave for snacking. So, what I've done right now is I've just plugged this computer and microwave and uh, monitor into this power bar right here. This goes there. And if I scroll through the menu settings here, you can see the load right now is at zero watts. And if I power this on, Shows a very basic load of 30 watts. And then I'll power on the PC. And then we're jumping up to 93, almost 100 watts. And like I said, this is a 3000 watt inverter. So for a load of 100 watts, it's only at uh, 3 point, well, I saw 3.5% there for a second. So we're using hardly anything right now. So 
why don't, while this PC boots up in arcade mode, why don't I find a cup of coffee to heat up and that will uh, definitely increase the load on the inverter. Well, I don't have any coffee to heat up, but I just threw a glass of water in there just so that we got something to heat up. Once again, the load's still only at hovering around 90, 80 watts. So let's turn this microwave on. Boom, there we go. Now we're at uh, 1.7 kilowatts, so 1700 watts right now. And these batteries are holding okay for little 90, 90 amp hour green batteries. They wouldn't be able to hold this for very long, I wouldn't imagine, but with uh, 1700 watts, they're still holding strong at 23 volts almost. So there you have it. I've been uh, running this on and off, charging, draining for the last couple days. No issues at all. Shouts out to watts247.com. Shipping from the States to Canada was super fast. Um, everything was set up, ready to go. I only had to change the battery settings to flooded from AGM and uh, yeah, really impressed with this real, uh, little unit. Can't wait to get it set up in the actual cottage. And I will uh, show you guys some pictures of that when I do. And uh, just as a final thing, let's plug in this miter saw and make sure that the inverter has enough uh, bursting power to allow that miter star to start and continue operating. Thanks for watching guys. Anyone recognize this video game? And what system that might be from? Still have the old Zazer case from 2003. Working strong, although I've had to replace a lot of components from it obviously. Cheers guys.